It's about 15,000 here in downtown Louisville on this Wednesday night. The Red Hawks in the red, Louisville the white. Debbie, what will you be watching for early? Well, man-to-man -man defense has started out. I'm looking for Louisville to move the ball just like they did this possession and get a great uncontested triple outside the arc. Game's first jump shot. Man-to-man -man defense for Louisville. Nike Sabandi answering, though, with the first triple for the Red Hawks. I guess that ankle. Went over Eastern Kentucky on Saturday here in this building. Three on the shot clock here. That is Dwayne Sutton charging to the rack and laying it in for his first basket of the night. Bouncing back after their first loss of the season to Texas Tech last week. They thumped Eastern Kentucky here on Saturday, and that's a thumping block by Dwayne Sutton for this team that leads the ACC in scoring. Here's Sabandi trying to get to the hole, but he's not going to get there because Dwayne Sutton has his second block here in the last two minutes. Team, they're more of a rotation team on defense back row, but Sutton back-to-back -back plays on D. Miami not sending anyone to the offensive glass, trying to get back and set their D. Darius Perry driving all the way in. Miami, Ohio now 0 for their last six from the field here in this first half. Over five minutes deep, and there is Stephen Enoch going over the top of Bam Bowman. War spinning into the paint and knocking it down. Hawks have failed to score in over five minutes now. When they run this horn series with Wara at the elbow, they love to run off a player. And Fresh Kimball makes a great read and knocks down a triple. In providing depth at that point guard position, the graduate transfer from St. Joe's. Oh, and another block, third of the opening half. Miami. And the scoring drought over six minutes for the Red Hawks. While Louisville is on this 10-0 run and add two to that. Red Hawks desperate for some offense here on the road. Milos Jovic kicks it out. With the shot clock in single digits. And finally, it's Isaiah Coleman lands. Well, this is a Miami team that's still trying to work through some injury and get everybody healthy. And look at that beautiful shot off the glass. Working it around the perimeter. Gets it back. And now the three finally goes down. It took a while. Well, Deb, they hit their first three attempt of the game, and now they've hit their 18th, but nothing in between. It's just a great one-on-one -on -one play by David Johnson. Let him catch it with the back to his basket. If you can push him up the lane or off the lane, you have a better chance of defending him. Now Makai Larry has points in two of his last three trips down floor. Delonte Brown driving baseline. Sutton got a piece of that, but taken back up and in by Precious Aya, a redshirt junior from Nigeria. Too strong by Grant. For the game, Chris Max said, hey, the Red Hawks have our full attention. It's a bandy back in. After tweaking the ankle, he scores and gets fouled. Just for reference, uh, Kentucky's at number 58 right now, who is Louisville's next opponent. I'm surprised to see some of those low numbers for some of those high-powered ACC teams. I think once conference play starts, all those numbers will lift. The eighth turnover now for the Cardinals as we approach the final minute here of this opening half. Good feed underneath to find Delonte Brown, the second leading scorer on this Red Hawk squad. And leading all scores for Louisville, and that's from two three-point baskets. Day Day Grant opening the second half the way that the Red Hawks started the first with a triple on their first shot. Well, that's a good flow for Delonte Brown and the easy finish. Lock in single digits. Three to shoot, Darius Perry stares down the long three and he jars it. Just doesn't have the same energy we typically see them with. That's a good lay-in by Day Day Graham, who has two baskets so far here in the second half. Does so many things that don't reflect in the stat sheet. Day Day Grants, good mid-range shot. Drag screen right here for Kimball. Sutton again, with authority, charging the lane. Ryan McMahon, looking for his third three. And up and in, the 
offensive rebound and the putback by Dwayne Sutton. Eight from the floor, but I would expect the next possession offensively to run through him. What gives, Debbie? Why has he had such a quiet night? I think he's being unselfish. I think other guys are taking shots. He's past the 10 second timeline. Because there was not a change of possession. No. And Jordan Wara. And Wara, first player in this game into double figures, now with 10 points. Larry, tough oh, shot for Kai Larry. Instead of those sort of intangibles, I'm sensing more uh, uh, decision making issues. Wara, good decision there. Really tough to defend with 6 7 when he can get that deep in the paint. These guys are going to really start to believe here if they continue this trend with under nine to go. They are firmly in this game right now. Ryan McMahon locks in on a three, and now he buries his third of the night. Ten different ACC teams earning bowl bids this year. And the tip in by Sutton here for Louisville. Gets them to 50 points on the night. Tough reverse attempt that time by Jovic. And a 2-1-1. One, one. War for Williams. Man, they're not going to let him get an uncontested three. Louisville on an 8 0 run over the last minute. And Wara extends that to 11. In D1 men's basketball, and I think Kevin Keats has got a solid team to take them on the road. It'd be really interesting to follow that game. He's just a basket away from a double double here tonight. And Wara with as much authority as you can muster. Beckett now has 18 on the night. I mean, get out of the way. <laughs> From there, it's into ACC play for this third-ranked team in the nation. Two on one here. Oh, and what a finish. <laughs> to get your team sharp and ready, not only Kentucky, but ACC play. They got 10 days after this game. What are you working on? And Sam Williamson hits here. That's what I'm working on in prep for the Kentucky game. Eli McNamara sizes up the three and plants it. Best in the first half, but they pulled away here in the second 20. And they are going to win by 16 points here at the Young Center on this Wednesday night.